What's up guys? Welcome to System Test 5. So starting off with the panel, everything's normal, no troubles or anything. Um, moving up, we have our two monitoring modules, no sync module this time. And the for the first, or the, I guess you call it the second pull station spot, we have the FCI MS6 second generation pull station. This one is the one NJ Mu had in his collection and then sold off when he left the hobby. Um, if we go up, we have our smoke detector still, the 449 CST. We won't be testing that today. Come over, we have a new device. This is my Lanco H or 45S-HSD-24 um, horn strobe. And it's basically a rebrand of a 7002T. Um, so you'll be seeing that today. And if we come down, we have my FCI MS2 first generation pool station. I got this new in box for like $16 and it's really nice looking. So yeah. If we head over to our enunciator, everything's normal. And if we go up, bam, a crazy alarm. It's called a, a double gang cover plate. So yeah, there's no device here today. And um, you notice there now there's four wires running into it. So I can do four wire audible silence at this spot too. So stay tuned for videos coming up that'll have that. Um, but there's nothing there today, just because I don't have another 7002T, and nothing really went well with the 7002T. Okay, so let's get to the fun part of the video, where we set off the alarms. So, first off, these sound terrible on FWR, so we're just going to go ahead and unplug the panel. Oh, and we do have our emergency push station, which I'll show you an update with that too. And just acknowledge our battery trouble. Okay, and then just put hearing protection on. So, hold on. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull the FCI MS2. Three, two, one. Okay, there we go. So there's no audible silence, of course, because it's two wire. So let's go ahead and activate our MS6. And of course, you can. Unsignal silence. I don't know if I've ever showcased this before. And that, that uh, strobe flashes at like a perfect speed. So, let's go ahead and reset the pull stations. So, get our FCI branded PK65 key. Oh, gosh. Right here. And, you see that? Let's go over to our pull station. This, for the MS2s, you have to put pressure, like, right here on the bend, so that it's less stiff when you go to unlock it. There we go. You can pop it up. Flip the switch down. Lift the top piece up. And then, ah, gosh. Lock it up. And the lock on this is stiffer than usual. But if you push in right here when you're resetting it, it'll make it a lot easier to twist. And then for the MS6, this one has a really nice lock. It's very smooth. So just put our key in and close back up. And then we can go ahead and reset the system.
And you can also, I don't know that I showed this before either, you can scroll through to the devices that are activated, so we can see bedroom pool station, loop one, device one, and then loop one, device two is the shelf pool station. So yeah, I'll see you once the system has reset. Okay, so we are going to start a fire drill at the fire alarm control panel, and then we can end it at the enunciator. Uh, since there's a drill button on the enunciator. So, to do a fire drill, we go into a menu, we scroll down to control, and then I'm going to just put in the default password for level 2. You can use level 1 also. Uh, so, it's just 2222. Two, two, two. And let's enter that password in. And then our first option is drill. So, just press it once. so you can end the drill at the enunciator. And then I'm going to plug the system back in just because I don't want to drain the batteries too much. And let's grab our push station key. So I have updated this with a new feature. I don't know if I ever mentioned there's an LED here. And I decided to wire it so that the LED turns on when you press it. So here we go. And the LED is very bright. You can see on the enunciator and the control panel, if I exit out of the menu, loop one, device four, emergency station, and it brings the supervisory. And then if we reset it, it goes back to normal. And the LED is wired, and since the monitoring module puts out limited power, it's wired right here. You have power out in the enunciator, the smoke, and that LED are wired in here. Power goes out to the LED, and then it comes back into the relay, supervisor relay, and then this just jumps it here. So when the circuit closes, it goes, um, it turns on. <laughs> So let's just put our dress panel back on. Here's the whole panel. There's a ton of wires in it. So let's put our dress panel on. So you kind of have to hang it at the top. It's tr kind of tricky to do one-handed. Let's go with a quick lamp test. There we go. And you just kind of snap it into place. This one has two because it will offers a spot for the D16L-FA. It's an LED expander module. Anyway, I think that wraps up the system, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. See you, YouTube.